Hello everyone, welcome to the all new series on Midas Civil Software. In this series, we are uh, going to learn the all the fundamental tools available in this Midas Civil. All of you know that uh, Midas Civil Software is a vastly used software in the field of business, uh, design and analysis. So we will learn uh, all the fundamental tools and then we will see how we can, uh, you can say design a box culvert or frame in this particular software. So in this lecture what i will show you uh, i will tell you about a brief about the interface of this particular uh, user interface of this particular software and then we will see how we can define the material and section properties in this particular software okay so let's get started first of all what i will do i will go to this file menu here you can see that a c symbol which is the civil actually minus civil uh, logo so if you click on this it is nothing but the file menu so any other software uh, if you see uh, every software has this file menu so where you will find this new project open project close project save save as import export all these options are available in this file menu so to create a new project i will click on this new project so this window will come where you will be creating your model okay so it's like an uh, like uh, most of us have used AutoCAD so it's the interface is kind of AutoCAD only if you see this is the place where we'll be creating the model here we have the main menu at the top okay so all the activities we are doing in this software uh, those activities will be do, you, uh, say doing using the tools available in this main menu and supporting this main menu the tools are uh, you can say given under this ribbon menu so this big menu that if you see uh, suppose you are if i going to this uh, structure so under this structure main menu all the tools available will be shown in the ribbon menu right then we have this icon uh, menu so here it is nothing but the it is a toolbar actually so the selection tools view tools okay display tools are available here in this particular tool menu at the side also you will find a, a tool menu or toolbar okay here you can change your directions of uh, display here okay so i am in the top view if you want to go suppose this side so you can see from this side if you want to see from front you can click on this front so you can see from the front now i'll go to this top view okay and if you want to see the isometric view if you go to this view here you will find this viewpoint and if you change it to iso it will be coming to the isometric view okay the same thing you can do from here also you can see here also we have this iso view so it will take you to the isometric view and then uh, in the left hand side we have a tree menu so whatever work that we will be doing basically this work tree menu is very important for us so whatever input we will be doing in this giving in this software or it will all will be created step by step here in this work tree menu which will help us to you can say uh, recheck or review what we have done actually fine so and then at the bottom we have this command message and analysis message this command message is whatever command you are selecting whatever tool you are selecting so like autocad we have command panel you can also write the command here for that particular tool and you can execute that tool here okay so generally in so midas civil we do not use this command uh, panel so now it's uh, person to person vary if you uh, know the tools uh, the commands you can use the command I can write the command here in the command message and you can use that uh, tool for execution right then we have this analysis message so whenever we are doing any task we are analyzing so the messages available uh, for you can see under this analysis it will be coming here like the stad uh, output file fine so and then at the bottom very bottom we have the status bar it will give you the uh, you can say position of your uh, node or you can say the coordinates then the unit uh, of load or forces unit of length okay so all this will be available in this comma uh, status bar fine so uh, in this lecture what i will do i will show you how we can define a material so here what i will do i will define a concrete material because at the end of this uh, series we are going to do uh, uh, analyze a very simple box type structure or you can say box culvert if you if i precisely say and uh, we will do that using a frame structure okay so the simplified method we will use so in that case uh, what i will do i will define a concrete material so to define a material here you can see we will go to the properties because the material property section properties will be available in this properties main menu then i will click on this material properties and i'll click on add 
I want to add a concrete material, so I'll just click on this concrete. I'll change the standard to IRC RC here, and I'll change. Suppose I want to use M30 grade of concrete, so all the uh, linear properties will be added in this particular box. You can see here, okay. And the damping ratio is five percent for the concrete we are considering, and then click on click on OK. So we have defined a RC. Uh, you can say material of m30 grade now if you want to define section properties you can directly go to here in the section being in the material properties tab you will be directly finding these options actually here itself or if you click on the section properties menu here it will also redirect you to this particular page only okay so you don't have to go here and click again you don't have to close it you directly go to the section tab and click on add suppose i will add a beam so I will take the section as solid rectangle suppose I will name it as B1 uh, suppose 300 by 500 okay fine I just named it now I will click on this uh, user because I am creating a the shape of my own the height that means the depth will be 500 so 0.5 meter and the width will be 0.3 meters right 300 mm consider shear deformation uh, you can click uh, uncheck this for now i will tell you what uh, it is why it is required and when it is not and uh, you can click on this change offset here you can see the offset is center to center okay you can change the offset to uh, top left also in case of beams mostly we use this uh, top left or you can keep it as center to center as as uh, uh, as of now as the default one okay so this is nothing but the position of your line so basically we do we create line element now when it is you are viewing this line element as uh, you can say uh, solid so whether it will be at the top whether it will be at the top see here this line or whether you are creating the line actually here at the center so this is what uh, this offset is for now i will clip center to center only later if it is required we will change and i'll click on ok now i'll click on ok okay now if you want to create a slab you can go to this thickness you can click on add and here you can see in plane and out of plane thickness you want whatever thickness you want so in case of slab obviously we want to consider uh, out of plane bending also suppose you want to consider only in plane uh, stiffness so you can give only in plane uh, stiff thickness here right so for slab type obviously we'll be getting the in plane and out of plane both bending so what i will do i will consider it as suppose 0 0.15 150 mm thickness okay thickness id is one this is nothing but the number serial number okay i'll click on okay so you can see we have added a uh, plate also or a slab also so this is how you can add the material section and also a plate if i close it now you can see in this work pre menu whatever task or whatever input i have given till now it is added uh, in a hierarchy so you can see this material m30 grade we have defined section uh, b1 300 and 500 uh, we have defined and thickness 0 0.15 we have defined okay now just for your understanding what i will do i will create two nodes this thing i, I will explain again so just i will just fast forward this so i'll create two nodes by creating this create node i'll like this 0 comma 0 comma 0 apply one node another node i will create in the x direction at five meters and i click on apply two nodes i have created now what i will do i will go to this create element I'll select the material which is M30 grade. I'll select the section which is B1300 500. Okay. Orientation, it I'll keep it as zero degree. I will not I don't want to orient anyway. Okay. And here if I just expand this, here you can see. Now I'll just click on this. See intersect node or element. Okay. So nodes we have. So I'll just like click on this and click on this particular node, 5 meter. So you can see the beam is created and here for this beam the center line is at the middle right the center line is at the middle now if i click on close 
you can see in the tree menu work tree menu this two nodes we have created and element one element we have created it is actually being visible here okay now let me go to view and let me change it to hidden line you can see this is the line and if i go to the you can say solid view so here we can see the beam of 300 by 500 and where is the centroid it is at the showing at the center of the beam now if i go to again uh, properties section properties and if i modify this this offset to suppose uh, center top okay center top and i click on ok ok here you can see now what happened so the the beam is shifted here actually okay the beam is shifted like this now if i want to get the uh, line here okay so this is nothing but the offset you want to provide actually uh, if i want to give uh, i have given center top now if i give uh, bottom center center bottom if i click on okay sorry i will not save now click on okay so you can see it is going here so what does it mean that the line will be created at the center and the beam will be going down you can see the position actually okay so the beam will be going down this is what it meant actually okay uh, so this is how you can change the offset for now i will keep it here only i will i will not change it i will keep it in the center to center okay you can see where the line will be created okay i'll close so this is how you can uh, define a material and you can also create a simple beam by using the nodes and lines and whatever input you have given you can see here so now suppose i want to see that this m30 grade of concrete where i have i used it so if i just click on this right click and i think you can click on this select so you can see it is selecting that element on which this grid of concrete is assigned fine so now few more things more uh, in in coming lectures we will be learning how to model a frame how to assign different other uh, you can say properties okay so this is it for uh, this particular lesson in our next lesson we will see uh, some more features some more uh, fundamental tools available in this software thank you and see you in the next lecture